so now that we've installed SQL Server itself and also installed SQL Server Management Studio on top of it, we're now ready to actually start working with some data and putting data into our database. And Microsoft actually provides a really great sample database called AdventureWorks. And the link is in the description. And this is where we can go ahead and actually download this file. And we'll go through the process of uploading this to our database itself. So from this link here, we're going to go down to the OLTP downloads and download the 2017 backup file. We can save this. I'll let this download. And then open the file. So what this file here is, it contains a bunch of scripts that's essentially going to upload data to our database. But in order to do that, we actually need to go into SQL Server Management Studio, the one we just downloaded here, open this up. Again, find your specific instance. In our case, we've called it demo. Connect. And the way this is going to work here is we're going to go to databases, right click, and click restore database. Now what restoring is, you can almost think of it as a copy and paste. It's going to look at a file that's going to contain a bunch of information and it's going to just read it exactly. And you know, if it's a bunch of tables and a bunch of data, it's going to copy that data. So in this case, we're going to look at device and by device, in this case, it's our computer and browse backup media type. You can keep it as file. Add. And what we're actually going to have to do here is add this backup file that we just downloaded and put it into this location. So what we need to do here is copy this file path and we can open up a new instance of this. Give yourself permission if you don't have it. Assuming you're the administrator, that should be fine. And copy this file into this backup location. So now if we go here and click refresh, there it is. Okay, so we have this selected. Click OK. It grabbed it. OK. And here we go. Full database backup. Component database. Looks good. So this here, destination database, this is what is going to be the actual name of the database itself once it gets uploaded. Uh, we could keep it AdventureWorks 2017, but I think just for simplicity, I'm going to get rid of the date here and we'll just call it AdventureWorks. Okay, so click OK. Restoring, success. So now if we go here, here it is. We've officially added our first database to our SQL Server instance. Now, if we want to actually test this out that and prove that there is data here, you know, we could drill down here. We see all of these tables, store procedures, functions. That's the, one of the great things about AdventureWorks. It comes fully loaded with a ton of stuff. So let's let's just do a basic query here just to make sure there's something here. So first off, let's use the AdventureWorks database and we'll do select all from let's do oh I don't know uh, we'll just do this first one human resources dot department this guy here and there we go there's data it works all right so we've successfully uploaded data now to our server Thanks for watching and we'll continue on with the next video.